Hello again. I really am getting awfully tired of hearing about the supposedly vast sums of money which we owe to the countries of the Caribbean to compensate them for the suffering of their ancestors hundreds of years ago. Up until the early years of the 19th century, various people, some of them British, were involved in a wicked and detestable trade in human lives, taking people from Africa and then enslaving them in the Americas and the islands of the Caribbean. We in this country realised over 200 years ago that this was a terrible way to carry on, and so we stopped doing that in 1807. We then set out to stop anybody else doing it either, by employing the Royal Navy to suppress the trade in slaves. In 1833, Parliament passed the Slavery Abolition Act, which was designed to free all slaves in the British Empire and stop slavery once and for all. It was felt only fair to compensate those who had bought slaves and owned them. So the British government of the time agreed to pay the market price for every single slave in the empire, most of them being in the Caribbean. It almost bankrupted this country. No less than 40% of the government's expenditure in 1833 went towards paying for the freedom of slaves. This amounted to £20 million, pounds, a simply colossal sum 200 years ago. It took a very long time to pay off that debt, which was done by means of issuing gilt-edged bonds and a consolidated loan. How long did it take to pay off this money? It was not achieved until February the 1st, 2015. In other words, Every viewer of this video who paid tax was still paying off the debt incurred for freeing the slaves in the British Empire. Anybody who was paying tax before 2015 was affected by this huge debt. It is now seriously suggested by some we should repeat the process by raising vast sums of money again, billions of pounds, and incurring another debt involving Caribbean slavery, which would also take us centuries to repay. This would be A, completely mad, and B, horribly unjust, because all the people involved in the slave trade have been dead for a couple of hundred years. Why on earth should we be expected to atone for their sins now? In the description to this video, I give a link to a document from the British Treasury which confirms that it took until 2015 to clear the debt relating to the 1833 Slavery Abolition Act. 